Welcome back to Great Day Houston. Before the break, I ask after water, what is the most popular drink? The answer is tea. Worldwide, there are 25,000 cups of tea consumed every second. According to legend, the history of tea dates back to ancient China almost 5,000 years ago. Emperor Shennong discovered tea when leaves from a wild tree blew into his pot of boiling water. Who knew? Down south, we like it sweet or unsweet and over ice. And can I have a lemon, please? But there's much more to tea than that. For our next guest, her cup runneth over with the varieties and ways to enjoy this beverage. Welcome Ken McHugh with McHugh's Tea Room. Good Thank morning. You. Good morning. Thank you. For a lot of us, we don't know a lot about tea beyond Lipton. I right. spent a little time in England and then uh, grew up in my early years in Asia. So yeah. I know that tea means so much more than maybe a lot of us give it credit for. Sure, it sure does. And now that's come to America in a big way, yeah. in a real big way. So I brought today some ideas of some things that we're selling in our store, but things that people are really interested in. They yeah. really, really like the idea of variety. You are a certified tea specialist and tea blending master. Yeah. What got you interested in it's it to begin with? It's a school for that. Yeah, 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 school for that. that. Um, it, well, my husband's from Scotland, mm -hmm. and he drinks a bunch of tea, and my family traveled to Europe. We just found it very interesting. I wanted to bring it back here. I yeah. wanted the people of Texas to understand how interesting this is. And every flavor you can think of, and it's amazing, because tea at one time was was used as currency, uh, currency around the yes, world as well. Yes, medicine, currency, yeah. yeah. All right. Absolutely. Let's go through, because again, sure, I mentioned sure. a lot of us so kind of just that, that straight, all, but look right. at the varieties. All of these varieties. So in. all tea, there's actually all one plant that makes all tea. Really? That's it, there's five major kinds of tea. I know it's shocking. Yeah. Five kinds. It's white, green, oolong, black, and pu'er. Okay, and so how do we get five. all those different, if it's one tea leaf, how do we get all those different varieties? I'm so glad you ask. Because on our first one over here, I brought white pina colada. It's like all oh, the fun what, with none of the guilt. So you know, I what's that? that? It's a pina colada, yeah, it smells delicious. It's a full leaf. So think about like healthy oh, skin with yeah. this one. This is a good, they're studying it for skin. There's real promising results with this. If you want to stick to your 2020 resolutions about looking better and feeling better. Yeah. And that is another point. We know yeah. that the pharmaceuticals started out as plant-based right. items in many cases. So, but tea has medicinal purposes it to does. it. It does, it really does. And that one really will help, but it's not oxidized. That's why it looks like it does. It's okay. not crushed, it's a full leaf. Uh -huh. Moving into the green tea, still not oxidized. Green tea, think disease prevention. The spotlight is really, really, really on green tea right yeah. now. Yeah, in fact, they're looking at the relationship between Tons. cancer and green there tea, There it is, right? and they're showing in lab results that the cancer cells are shrinking with green tea. Wow. And does it prevent cancer? It's not medicine like yeah. that, but it does help your body help itself. Yeah, and that's, that's the, the key idea. right there, is if your body's not in crisis exactly. all the time, you have to balance it. And since this is kind of odd, it looks like, like pebbles or something, but it's actually 50 times finer than talcum powder. It's called matcha. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's the yeah. all the rage. Matcha is the rage yeah. right now. And with that being said, I know that I can go to places and they're like, oh, you can get a matcha so and so matcha. There's a yeah. difference between a little matcha powder or a little matcha flavor and the real deal. That's so true. That's so true. And I know another thing too is getting your kids to eat healthy. Mm -hmm. It's a you need a hack for this. So we found one. We found one. We found are you game for this? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. okay, you got a spoon? Uh -huh. This is matcha yogurt. Oh, wow. So all we did, uh -huh, we blended the matcha powder. And I know, oh, right? It's vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. It's okay. so good. So that is something you can do in the morning. So incorporating it into your daily life, that's the other thing too, yeah. is getting a healthy habit that you can do every day. Okay. Like Let's it's nice in. for a little while, but. Yeah, right. You okay, know. Let's get into pouring some tea. Yeah. Because as I mentioned earlier, down south, we lack it over ice. We and do. And you said your lack husband goes, what? Oh, it's sacrilege. <laughs> no ice. So we're going to do hot. It can be enjoyed hot or cold. Yeah. We are in the south. We and know. hot is another way of bringing out some of those medicinal sure, purposes that we wonderful. talked about. It's wonderful. The flavor profile changes. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. But if we move on into oolong tea, oolong is semi-oxidized, which means that the cell wall's broken a little bit, changes the flavor profile. Mm. So of course, for Texas, we did honeysuckle fig. Yes. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, and it just smells like candy, but it doesn't have any of the calories. Again, no guilt. Yeah. So, and it all has the same caffeine content. So you've got to remember that when you're doing with the kids. Yeah. But for the oolong moving into that, and oolong is great for keeping it slim. Oh. Okay. They're doing studies right now. I know, right? <laughs> We're putting that in your pocket. I'll, I'll, I'll take a dry. <laughs> <laughs> right. So keep it. They're trying to say that about. Uh, they're doing studies. Fifteen percent increase in your metabolism with matcha, with uh, oolong. Yeah, yeah. So, and then black tea's fully oxidized. Now, this is what we love in the South. We love our black tea. Yeah. So this oh, is it. So what we're gonna okay. do and here. And steeping, there's some science to how you Yeah, everyone doesn't right? wanna do this because they're terrified of how, oh, it's too hard, yeah. it's harder than a bag. It's so simple. So for today, I'll show you how to steep it because we've got your own. Oh, look at this. It says, 
Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> you got your very own cup now. And this makes it really easy. Look, it's super, super simple. I wonder if the queen has one like this. I doubt that <laughs> oh, very no, seriously. I, no, because somebody's steeping it for her. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Probably very true. So yeah. this is black tea. So we're going to show a little demonstration how simple this is. Two mm. scoops of the perfect cup of tea spoon. Okay. And then that water on the top there, we're going to pour that in the top, right okay. over it. I'll do that. This when I'm doing that, tell me how there's different, like some people have cream with their tea. Yes. Yeah, and then there's what, champagne? That's What's true. going on there? So, which, I know. So, here's the thing. We got herbal tea. Now, herbal tea is not really tea. It okay. is tea because you infuse it, but it's not from the Camilla sinensis plant. All these others are one from one plant. This one, the benefit here, hair, nails, and skin, good. High in antioxidants, and that blue color comes with it. It's totally natural. Oh, wow. Okay. So, this, and it's just a little flower. It's from Thailand. So, we've got two different ways of showing you the magic of tea. You ready to see magic? Uh-huh. Oh, I okay. love it. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do. We only have a few seconds, so let's go. I want to see this. Is okay. this. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. It literally went from this blue right here to, like to this color peak. right here. All right. And I'm going to taste that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it, is it ready for this? It's all, go for it. Okay, yeah, it's go. all good. Mm. That is all good. Okay. The, yes. Here, can you pour, pour one you more glass? You want to pour the other side? Yes, pour one more glass. Oh, that, that's how we do it in Texas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is so cool. I mean, imagine if we go in, we can also find out all about tea. We can right. answer all of our questions. We can talk about what things we want to address in our body. And right. you can tea deal classes. with that too. All right. Tea that's classes. It. All right. Instead of tea glasses, tea, no, it's tea cups. Tea classes. There we go. There we go. McHugh's <laughs> Tea Room is teaming up with the Asia Society to host a tea seminar. The event will take place Wednesday, January 29th at 6 p.m. at the Asia Society Texas Center. For more information, visit greatdayhouston.com.